so the number 12. Yeah, this is why I don't like the metric system articulated in a better way than I could ever articulate by Alex Sherwood. I like, I like the idea of a metric system, a system of measures, if you will. But before you, before you can measure, before you can start, you know, counting the world, you have to not account. And of course, you know, you, everyone can count, right? One, two, three, four, five. But single digits like that, single numbers, get very unwieldy very quickly. They're, they're kind of beautiful in that you can represent them by simple quantity, you know, a picture of one dot, a picture of two dots, a picture of three dots, and so on down the line. But pretty soon you're going to have to start using multiplication and a base system, like we've got base 10, people are pretty familiar with. In computer science, they like base 2. You know, there's octal and hexadecimal, which is 8 and 16, respectively. Those are kind of derivatives of base 2. Um, but when you're thinking about the usefulness of a base, it's not just, oh, you know, we can multiply it by 10, and now we can count by 10s. It's, 10 is, uh, is a little bit difficult to, to divide into, right? You got your factor. You got five and two. You got five and two. That's it. But guess what? 14 also has five and two, and so does six. I'm not even going to talk about the odd numbers. Mm hmm Half of them are prime anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, Which makes it even worse. So, you want, you want a number that's got a lot of factors so you can do good fractions in your head. Thirds and fourths and, well, we've got, and fifths, sixths and we've and got fifths and halves or maybe sixths. Yeah. So, really, what's less important than what the factors are is how many of them you've got. And, like I was saying, or as we... As we kind of know, you know, 10 has two, pair, has two factor pairs, 1 and 10. Yep, and, and even and worse, five. 5 is a prime. Yeah, but if, and if you look at the list, or if you go up the numbers, the, the factor pairs, you've got like 1 or 2, and then you hit 12, and you've got three factor pairs. Mm -hmm. 1 and 12, 3 and 4, and 2 and 6. And Which and themselves it, can be broken. Yeah. And I mean, you, you hit primes at the bottom eventually, right? Yeah. Two and three. I'm in the weird camp that considers both zero and one to be prime, but I'll, I'll leave that argument for the No, I can understand that. <laughs> I, I can definitely understand that. Um, but, you know, if, if you go up to 14, 16, whatever, you start, you go back to two-factor pairs for the most part. 24 is kind of interesting. I think you've also got three-factor pairs. And it, it, but that's just because it's, it's just twice two of, twelves. It's twice of twelve. It's just two twelves. So the and best so, number to stick with is the lowest possible. So what you want, what you want to look at, is the ratio of how many factor pairs per the size of the number. Because right. Because counting by single items is unwieldy. But having a huge base like base 60, 60 you know, sixty squared, even the first power you go up is already thirty six hundred. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's fucking enormous. And you're going to have to deal with 60 But 12, digits. what did you say? 12 has a 50% factor ratio? Because it's got you know, six... I guess. Six factors? 60 is the next kind of milestone. That's why I pointed out. Because 60, you incorporate five. Yeah. Right? You don't, get, you don't get five and get to keep two and three and six and all that. You can't add in five as another factor until you get to 60. Mm -hmm. So, in, in mathematics, I think it's called like... A superior highly composite number or something composite meaning um, meaning you've got a lot of factor pairs or highly composite meaning you've got many factor pairs and superior being that ratio of the number of factor pairs per the size of the number mm -hmm. so with base 12 it's not too big of a base 12 144 you know it's not too far off from 10 which we're familiar with just in terms of gross sizing and you can also make the digits work out See, I don't know if I have a picture of this on my phone, but you can, you can very beautifully represent your digits. So imagine you've got a, a, a character for 1, and then a character for 2, and 3, and 4, and so on, up through 11. So you could put those, visually represent them in a line, of course, or you could put them in a grid of, you know, 2 by 6 characters, 3 by 4 characters. But the beauty there is you can incorporate more meaning by having patterns in the physical design of the of the chart of yeah. the layout yeah. and oh the number one we're going to have one tick in it and then the number two we might have two ticks for example 
The number three, well, how do you make, how do you join three ticks together? You get a triangle. Right. And then four. You can make geometric forms so that the people who don't, the people like me who don't think just in numbers, who think visually yes. and kinesthetically yes. can use this thing. You, yeah. And the, the beauty there, as I mentioned, is incorporating more layers of meaning, right? So you have this symbol, which is distinct from, all the symbols are distinct, but the physical Which is layout, extremely important in math. The physical layout of the symbol also incorporates a meaning of, of how it relates to the other symbols. It, you get, not only do you get, I, I mean, my, my example that I kind of default to in my mind is, is interior corners. So to go up from three to four, you go to a, a plus shape or a cross because it's got four of these sort of 90 degree corners inside of it. Mm -hmm. Five then becomes the, the single tick of a one with a four cross on the bottom of it. Six and s is extended with the tick on the bottom. Seven is a triangle with a tick across one of the sides. Eight is two crosses and so on. And Can you, you do get, me a favor? You get patterns. You Can get you draw what you were just talking about? So because well, the thing I want to do, if I put this video up, I want to put I want to put these graphics next to you I as you exactly talk. You know what, you what I'm mean. saying? Yeah. Because uh, what I'll do is I'll try and make digital colored versions and then put I them can, up. I can probably send you one. I've already come up with Even one. better. Even yeah, better. Yeah. That would help. Yeah. Here, you want to you wanna feel me drawing it? Yeah, certainly. I can so, do that. But yeah, just keep talking there because... Uh, so and have you thought about making this chart three-dimensional ever? Or two, would you think two dimensions is sufficient? I mean, I think... I don't know. What, having like... Just figured I'd ask, you know, it's like a... Cubic it, it chart. Could be, it could be represented, you know, 2 times 3 times 2 is also 12. Mm -hmm. You know? So you could, but that's a, it's, e it's easy for us to visualize two dimensional stuff being three space beings as we are, right? Mm -hmm. So you start with zero, of course, no corners. The number one is very familiar. Yep. One tick at the top, two, two ticks. And now three. Aha. Uh -huh. Four. One, two, three, and four. Mm hmm. Five. Six. Ha. Huh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, going through both points here. And if you really want, 12. So that, that's 12. Well, that's actually 12. Huh. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, I see. Fifteen, etc. Well, that's really something. Do you have anything else to add to this? Only that it makes thirds and quarters and halves a lot easier. Yes, it does. And, and sixths. And sixths. Yep, which and are very important. Guess what else it makes easier? What? Eighths. Yeah, that's true. Or two thirds. Yep. Because and and twelfths, of course. Yeah. Yep. Because you can't say, "Oh, I've got a, a third. Well, two thirds is just one third from the other direction, you know. Mm -hmm. The um, the ruler, the ruler ticks for measurement would look like this. You've got you've got a couple of long ticks. So this would be your this would be your major increment one and two. Mm. This would be your halfway increment. Then within the halfway increment, you've got quarter and three quarters and then with within each of these you've got two small at minor increments for 12 in total mm -hmm. and you don't you don't have to concern yourself about infinitely splitting up the the tick marks like on on um, machinist scales that use inches they go all the way down to 128 yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's just because thousandths point, are, are base 10. At so. that point, what you ought to do 
is take one of these ticks and split it into its own set of 12. Right. I hate to profane your beautiful No, 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 it doesn't here, it doesn't but. matter. I just those are just sketches. It doesn't matter. But no, I I understand. It's to me it is more elegant and because fractions have always been a big important thing to me and like what the hell yeah. good are tenths? It's like nah. Yeah. You know. You can also you can also turn this the reason I I draw a sort of pseudo star of David symbol here is because it's for scientific notation where so this is the symbol for 12 in your system. This, this is the symbol for times 12 to the power of. Ah. So there's, the symb there's no distinct symbol for 12, kind of like our symbol for 10 is made up of it's a 1 and numbers, a 0. yes. Right? But, like in English, you could say 3.14 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2. Mm -hmm. This is equal to 314, but, you know... The, the essential idea is that you've got one number before the point, however much precision afterwards, and then your exponent to say how big the overall number is. And this lets you count even larger numbers than simply having to write out, you know, 9,348,273.806, yeah, yeah. etc. It's yeah, yeah. too unwieldy. And in real life, in, you know, actual practical matters except when it comes to deep scientific research like the mass of the proton and shit that takes say, you know millennia to develop to that level of accuracy you don't never need more than four significant figures i agree and this this here so this symbol is the replacement for one for, e exponent for e yeah yes. one e exponent is replaced by this because you so, go from tens to twelves so you might have three and then I haven't decided on, on what the decimal, or rather, power of, you know, 12 separator would be. 3, 1, and let's mix it up. Let's make it 3, 1, 8 times 12 to the power of, let's say, 3 in this case. Yeah. Or, well. Well, to the power of triangle, because yeah. it would be triangle that's symbol. That's right, that's right. Yep. And, no, and when, you ha when you invoke this symbol, no need to draw the tiny, compacted little exponent. You just... Yeah. Elegant. It's, yeah, it is. One, not ought to not confusing. Same, everything ought to fit in the same height. No subscript, no superscript. Yeah, because then that allows the possibility for subscripts on subscripts, and then you get into real trouble. Yes, you do. <laughs> you either cut it off or go all the way. Yeah. That's a kind of a unifying theme in my, my, my thought processes. Well, it's good. Thank you for this. Thanks I, for if, letting me share it. Thanks no, for, for of course. Do you mind if I put this up? Please do. All right, I will. I, I, I want have, people to hear this. I don't have my own infrastructure readily set up to do that. I understand. And I, like, I don't I've either, got, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, and see, that's something that you're able to do or my mind won't let me. I'm like, oh, I, I want to have it all proper before I go and jump into it. Well, I'll try and do it justice. I'll try to make, you know, good, easy-to-read digital PNGs of these symbols can, and put them I up. I can send you what I've constructed. Please do, yeah. Like, yeah. make them red or something oh, because it'll contrast good better, with this footage. black and white and cyan. Okay, gotcha. I mean, the cyan should turn out gray for people with blue blind. Yeah. But I could make them red or, you know. Yeah, something you, like you that. You can just paint bucket them. Thank you, sir.